We make this video to show what we did in the project of three-dimension reconstruction. Um, the whole project can be divided into several processes, including camera calibration, feature points extra extraction, key match, bounder, which is used to realize the reconstruction, and finally PMVS algorithm, which is used to realize the feature point densification. Uh, for the first part of camera calibration, we designed the software to realize it. Now let's see. Normally, we need the pictures of chessboard to realize the calibration. So first, I need to input some photos of chessboard. And the chessboard here is of nine rows and six columns. So I need to input these parameters. And I can choose a position for output. Now we can execute this program. Okay, it has been finished. And now uh, uh, here, this YML file is what we produced just now, and uh, it contains the information of camera parameters such as the camera matrix, uh, distortion parameters, and many other camera parameters. And now let's look at the next four steps. Uh, all of our programming work is finished on the platform of Visual Studio 2013. Of course, now we are working on the Visual Studio 2015, but they are compatible with each other. Uh, this is the this is the bounder program, and we can see many key steps we mentioned before, uh, like uh, bounder and. Uh, PMS and the key match. And as you see, this is a very huge project. So uh, some of its code were downloaded from the website. Uh, in this project, we also uh, wrote a host program to connect these four parts together. Now let's see our host program. This is our host program, and you'll see that first we need to input files, and second, run the simple shift, and this, this is used to realize the feature points extraction, and then key match, and finally run the bounder. Um, because it will take a long time to run this to run this whole process. So here I will just show some of our work and result of the project. Mm. Uh, through the uh, through the process of simple shift, for every photo we took, it will have it will have its own key file like this. And all this key file will be used to finish the process of key match. This is the simple shift algorithm and this is the feature points we extracted. And this is the process of running the simple shift program. And the key match process. This is just an example. Uh, this is what we really. This is what we really did.
uh, and this is the process of running the key match program. And now we can run the bounder program to realize the reconstruction. For every photo we have taken before, uh, after running the bounder program, it will has it will have its own PLY file, and uh, all this PLY file will be used to finish the reconstruction. And now we can double click it. This is the result of mm, reconstruction. Uh, and uh, we can see the topography from the from this result. And now I will show some of our other results. Uh, this is the process of running the bounder program. Uh, we took many photos of scenes, and uh, this is and these are all the uh, results of the reconstruction. Uh, this is a special store in front of our university, and uh, this is this is the result of reconstruction. But as you see, the result is uh, this effect is not very good. Uh, this is the reconstruction for my uh, computer and cell phone. I hope this video can help you to know what we did in this project. Thank you.